just want to say, um, I know you're looking at this beautiful altar this morning with the flowers, and I just want to say thank you, Brother Cliff and, and Brother Joe, for um, getting the flowers that you, the church, have donated or given in memory of and in honor of. So at the end of the service, please remember to get your uh, flowers. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have enjoyed a wonderful Easter pageant this morning, and uh, 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 and so don't 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 be moving around now. Pastor's not gonna try to you know do this whole sermon like five or six sermons in one Sunday morning just because it's Easter Sunday. Because the children, the youth in action, have delivered the message to you this morning. So I I, I want to share with you briefly though. I, I have to share with you briefly that the Bible tells us in the Easter account from John uh, that, that Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early on a Sunday morning. John says that she saw that the stone had been moved away. So she ran. She didn't walk, but, but, but she ran to Simon Peter and the other disciples and told them, the Lord has been taken from the tomb. Uh, we don't know where they put him. There was no hallelujah in Mary's vocabulary early that Sunday morning. But early this Sunday morning, I know the Pascals attended sunrise service. Uh, and some of you also may have attended sunrise service at another church. But I know early this morning that as many attended the sunrise service, indeed, they did shout hallelujah. And, and just like we began our service this morning with hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah is one word that we especially associate with Easter. It is a Hebrew word which means praise be to Yahweh or praise be to God. It is the word of rejoicing of the vocabulary of God's peace. Amen? Unlike 2,000 years ago when Mary first saw an empty tomb. I can imagine that she was sad. Tears streamed down her face. Her body trembled. Her voice strained as she told the disciples the tomb was empty. He's gone. I don't know where they have taken him. But afterwards, afterwards, church, when Jesus revealed himself to her, I can't imagine that she was overjoyed as she told the disciples that she has seen him and what he has said to her. Her joy was unspoken, but a alleluia, a alleluia, it, it had to have been in her vocabulary. It began in sorrow, but ended in the joy of seeing the risen Lord. Joy is the heart of our Easter celebration, church. If someone asks us why the rejoicing, why the hallelujah, we know the answer. We will tell them we rejoice today because we are saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. And the mystery accumulating in the resurrection gives each of us proof of God's unbelievable love for us. Gives each of us cause for joy. This is the message for Easter, and that Easter message is summarized in the word hallelujah which proclaimed that for us, life, not death, is the victor. Christ is risen. He is risen, and so we know that we also will rise one day to a new life with him. But I do want you to know and do want you to be reminded of that this word which belongs not only in our Easter vocabulary, but also belongs in our everyday vocabulary. 
No, hallelujah, should not be a seasonal word, but a daily word. We should celebrate, we should praise God for the gift of his love, for the gift of life, for the gift of faith, for the gift of redemption through Jesus Christ, everyday church. And so this morning, my brothers and sisters, being brief here and not holding you up, Jesus calls us by name this morning as he called Mary. He calls each and every one of you by name and tells you to go and tell. Go and tell the story. We must take the scripture in one hand and the power of God in the other and find what we can do to make the world a better place, whether by campaigning for making poverty non-existence, whether we campaign for better health care, where we campaign for peace and justice around the world, and whether we campaign for equality, we got to get up and do something. Whether, we can, whether it can be big or small, we must do something. We are Easter people. Jesus is not dead. Jesus is alive. We are not dead. 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 Let me hear it. We are not dead. We are not dead. We are not dead. We are alive. So let's get on with it. Easter is a beginning, not an end. Let the church say amen, amen and hallelujah. 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 Christ is risen. Amen and amen.